So what we've done with H5P is given the same look and feel to other kinds of content or other kinds of pages in Anvil, um, but instead of our own content or our own tools being behind the scenes doing the work, it's H5P doing that. And so if I click on Edit here now, you'll see something similar to what we saw in the earlier slide at the, at the outset. So this is a short film about how somebody became a teacher. That's what we can see in the title. That's all editable. I mentioned that, Ant, that H5P has many different kinds of tools. Um, I haven't even begun to explore most of them. Right now, my own focus is on interactive video and course presentation. They seem to give me the most bang for my buck. Uh, I'm not so, I don't need audio so much because I already have the audio capabilities of Anvil. But you guys can see that H5P is becoming a really rich source of content creation. Um, and Anvil allows you to display or make that content right inside of it. So I've chosen my interactive video. I have to choose what kind of interactions I want to have. As you can see, I've already created some. This here just does a little pop-up. Então, acho que desde criança eu eu gostava de de ensinar. Want to edit that? All I was doing there was giving the students sort of a heads up on what was happening. You know, pay attention. Um, here's what you're going to see. Um, you have, uh, Shannon's going to go into more of the, the formatting possibilities with H5P. What I just wanted to emphasize here is that um, Anvil is very agnostic about what other tools can work inside of it. It's very, very flexible, and H5P has given us a rich um, set of tools that um, have a lot to offer for oral, oral uh, language teaching. And I can't wait to uh, show you more of that and talk about it on August 17th. So I'm going to come back out and um, stop for there. Um, I hope that's given you enough of an overview of what Anvil is, how it works, um, that it's available to anybody, it's free. Um, you just need to sign up for a for a course, and once you have a course, uh, once you have an account, you can uh, start creating courses um, fairly easily. If I go back up to that, I'm ready to start working on my next course. Hope to see you on August 17th. Uh, thanks for listening in. Bye-bye.